Hello, I'm Megan and I blog at welcometothezoo.ca and I just thought I'd show you really quickly how to make a YouTube intro using Animoto. Now, Animoto is an amazing website where you can make all sorts of wonderful um, videos with your own photos and your own um, video clips and even your own music. Um, it does cost a little bit, but Animoto has been kind enough to uh, give me a link that I can pass on to you. So if you click through using the link that's below this video or in the blog post, um, you will be able to get your first month for free, and I'll get a month free too, so that's kind of nice, win-win. So what you need to do, first of all, is make sure you've got your photos, the photos you want to use. I'd suggest maybe three or four or five, that kind of range, and uh, any music that you'd like to use. Um, now, Animoto does have stock um, photos, videos, and music that you can use. The music that Animoto has is usually flagged on YouTube as um, copyrighted, so keep that in mind if you plan on using this on YouTube. So uh, go to animoto.com and just log in or sign up if you need to do that. And I'm going to sign in right here. And here I am at my dashboard. So you can see all the videos that I've been working on. Uh, I'm going to create a new one. Um, if this is your first time on Animoto, you won't have any here. So um, all you need to do is click Create. So very quickly, you'll see all of the wonderful templates and themes that um, Animoto has. Uh, now, these ones are usually the most popular ones. If you click on all, you'll see there's even more. Here we go. There's a, quite a wide variety of styles and um, uh, moods and themes. And um, some of them uh, you do need to upgrade to a, a higher um, a tier for, but uh, most of them you can use with just a basic account, which, like I said, you'll be able to get your first month free if you use the link that I've included. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create an Animoto original video with the original theme. And it'll show up and give you a little bit of a view of what that theme does. And it looks great, so we're going to hit create. And here we are, the video creator. So you'll see uh, the song is up here, the song that comes with the theme. Now you can change that song to uh, anything you like. There's several that they've got um, uh, as stock uh, music here, um, several songs. But like I said, these ones are copyrighted in YouTube, so you won't be able to monetize if you use these in my experience for the most part. There may be exceptions to that, but I'm not sure what they are. Or you can upload your own song. I quite often use songs from bensound.com and um, his songs are, are absolutely free. Uh, if you like, you can, there is a uh, paid account available, but, um, but you can use his for free as long as you put the website um, somewhere in your video. So I just tack on music by uh, www.bensound.com at the end and his songs have no problem in YouTube they I don't get flagged for copyright issues or anything like that so we're just going to stick with the song that we've got and uh, here along the side you can see you can change the style um, now add logo you need to upgrade your account for that we don't really need to do that uh, add pics and vids add text so you can also add pictures and videos and text just by clicking the little plus sign you can pick pictures pick pictures or text. So we're going to add some pictures right now. You can um, upload from a variety of sources and down here are the stock um, libraries. So stock images, stock photos, and then stock video clips, which are kind of fun to add in every once in a while. So we're going to upload from my computer. And I've got four here already I'd like to put in. And they're going to go ahead and upload. There we go. So they're all uploaded. And then I can also add text if I like. Uh, and I'll write my blog name. And I can write a subtitle as well. And then let's say I'm using a Ben Sound song. At the end, I can put music by and my credential there.
And then if I want to rearrange uh, any of the photos or the text, I just drag and drop, and away we go. So there we go. So let's preview the video we've got so far. And I think that looks great. Now, uh, that took me, what, a couple of minutes to, to build, so that's a pretty, pretty uh, fail-safe and quick and easy way of making a YouTube intro. So now what I would do, that was just my preview. I can continue editing, or I can produce it. So let's go ahead and produce this video. So the produce screen gives you an option for a title. So we'll just type in the name. I can put in the date and the description if I like. And uh, I can upgrade to Pro to remove the logo at the end of my video. You saw that um, triangular uh, logo at the end. Um, however, uh, I don't do that. What I do is I take this video and I put it into Windows Movie Maker and um, take the logo off the end, just splice it off the end uh, through Windows Movie Maker. Now I'll be showing you how to do that in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in learning how to do that. So then I just click Finish. And here we go, it's finalizing now, and I have a little uh, thumbnail on the screen there. Um, as it's doing that, you can see on the side, once, you, once it's done uh, finalizing, there are options to email this, share it on Facebook, tweet it, link to it, um, embed it in your website, or upload it to YouTube. Now, like I said, if you um, would like to remove the Animoto logo at the end, don't upload it to YouTube or anything like that quite yet. And same as if you want to use this as an intro and, and possibly make one for an outro as well um, for your YouTube videos. You don't want to upload it straight as is. You want to edit it into your videos. So um, instead, we will download it to our computer. So it looks like it's done uh, finalizing. It's all ready to go. I can download it now. And there are a variety of choices. Um, the one that comes with your free month would be the MP4 at 360p, which I found is just fine for YouTube. Um, you can upgrade it to higher qualities, you can upgrade your account, or you can pay a little bit per video um, to upload it. So let's just click on MP4. Like I said, that's all I've found out that I ever need. And there we go. Now it's in my computer, it's in my downloads folder. It's ready for me to use as an intro or outro or whatever I want to use it in uh, as I edit it with my regular um, YouTube videos. So there you go. Now catch me next time um, and I'll show you how to actually cut it up and, and uh, edit it and take off that logo in Windows Movie Maker. Um, and in the meantime, don't forget to use that referral link and you'll get a free month with Animoto, which is great. That's lots of time for you to create um, a, an intro and an outro for, um, for your YouTube videos. So um, feel free to subscribe and uh, catch me on uh, Facebook or Twitter. And, or at the blog at welcometothezoo.ca. See you next time.